Hello, hello. So some individuals always interested in just taking their knowledge to that next level and I'm right there with you. This time around though, what I found out is that they're using a lot of these uh, these people who um, brag about all of these these uh, things that they've created and built and, and all this other stuff. Of course, AI, 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 AI is writing, AI is creating the videos, AI is um, the customer service, AI <laughs> is the one that's doing the research on the keywords, AI is um, also checking to see if information is plagiarized. I mean, AI is doing the whole shebang. And so one particular thing that I came across is all of this website building using AI. So a lot of folks go, hey, you know what? I don't need to, per I don't need to have someone, and I know some of my small business owners, this is what they were saying. I don't need anyone to build my website. I'll build it myself because that was a service that at one particular company I was partnered with, we offered. We were willing to build up your website. And some folks were like, well, okay, what's the starting price? So we would tell them, that uh, starting price was $500 all the way up to $2,500. And so some folks would go, oh no, I'm not gonna pay that when I can do it myself, or I'm not gonna pay that, I know someone. And so then this is when I would proceed to tell them something like, okay, if you get someone to build your website, make sure that you have access to your website. What do you mean? Make sure that wherever they build it up, that you're gonna be able to hire someone else if you need to, to go in to fix it or to add information or whatever else, because if I own everything related to that website and you don't have access, that means that I could charge you whatever I want to charge you to update that website. Oh, I got this. I'm good. I'm fine. Okay. So then the next thing you know, I get some people who they were calling me talking about, uh, can you give me access to my website? Because I had one of your people to do this and that. And I said, no, we can't do that. No, what do you mean you can't do that? I paid that person. I say that person is a freelancer. That person has created the website. You needed to have talked about having ownership over that website to do whatever you wanted to do with it. Well, that's what I thought was going on. If you wanted the tools, you wanted the access, you and your freelancer should have went over that from the start. And then you would have had your own account with your website and then you could have given anybody access to your website but you didn't see this is why you got to know something about the business instead of just saying things like i want a website and then you don't even know how freelancers do things you see so one of the things that people are doing is they're building their websites up using ai and how they're going about doing it is that there's various tools that they use like with everything else and one of the things that i came across was using surfer.net now surfer.net can take any type of website that's out there you plug in that information, it's going to give you a template design of it. And then all you have to do is just have your website designer take a look at this thing and then they can build from that. Yes. Here's another thing too, is that when it comes to website content, why do I need you, Nicole, to write my content when I can get AI? Well, you still need somebody to look over the content because what's happening is, is that some of the information that AI is coming up with is not necessarily accurate. Matter of fact, AI will straight up tell a lie and say that you were there and you did this and you said this, and it will even insert your little feelings into some things if uh, you're not careful. <laughs> so one of the things that you wanna do when it comes to building up a website uh, with what, uh, with um, AI is make sure that you still have someone who's gonna look over that content. Make sure that you do have access to all of your tools, to all of your products, and not be so trusting <laughs> of these tools and of these people. Um, just making sure that you know what you're doing at the end of the day. So one of the first things that you will do is that in this quest to build up a website is, is that you gotta have a plan. You've gotta have a theme in terms of what the color scheme is gonna be, what type of content, um, give someone an idea, give AI an idea of what you're after, what you want. And usually people, what do they do? They go around the internet, they look to see who has a website that resonates with their idea. And then they go and they plug in everything that they want, of course, tweaking some things to fit their 
type of personality and what they're selling, service, products, what have you. And then AI will kick back your title of your website for you, if you ask it, your meta uh, description, if you ask it, your product descriptions, your titles, if you ask it, um, include high ranking keywords, if you ask it, <laughs> you see. But going back to just good old fashioned humans and you know what it is that we're after if i'm your customer i want to know how are you going to make my life easier at the end of the day how are you going to solve problems right for me um what exactly is this that is so much more different and so much more special than maybe what's already out here and then is your price really competitive is it even better than what everybody else's prices are because oftentimes what i'm finding is these new startups I'm not impressed. I'm not impressed at all. You see. So I'm looking at some prices and I go, okay, well, you know, I can go over to Etsy or I can go over to, but you're not going to get the best quality. I don't know. I'm going to get the best quality <laughs> because one thing I'm noticing is that a lot of people know people, not so much business businesses knowing people but a lot of good old-fashioned people know people and they don't want um expensive prices so i hope that this has been one of those videos that has helped you out and got you know the juices going a little bit in your mindset when it comes to building up a website um you know the ai tools are out there you can do so many different things with them um there are what you call um prompts that you use to plug into the AI tool and there's a number of guides that are out there so look up you can look up the name brand of the AI uh, AI tool like the chat GPT-4 and then prompts and somebody nine times out of ten has a guide or a PDF of what to plug in uh, so that you can get whatever it is that you're after to build up your website but um, you can also look up what the AI tools are um, that are out there once you've selected one then you go ahead on and you can plug in the information that you need but these things are out there this is what people are doing um ai is not going anywhere so please stay tuned for more resource rundown have a great rest of your day Bye bye